What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more recent game pickups. Let's get right into this. Okay, this list is going to include the last games that I purchased for 2019, some of which I have already completed, but some I'm just now getting into just because I purchased them when they're on sale. Most of them were at least 50% off. And I've just been having a blast and I always pick up games whenever they're cheap like this just so I have stuff to play in the future. But now I have a huge backlog list. But for the recent game pickups that I got, first is Little Adventure on the Prairie. It's kind of a cheap little indie game. Um, it's not too much to it. It's extremely easy and I ended up getting a platinum for it. I've heard great things about it. I've heard crappy things about it. It was an indie game that I wanted to check out. It was literally $3. So for $3, I can't really complain. It was a decent game. At least I got a platinum out of it, I can say. Next is Hitman Go, which I've never played any of the Hitman games. This game here was something that's easy to platinum, but it is extremely boring, I felt. There's not much to it, but this game was literally $1.50. Extremely cheap for the end of the year sales, so I can't really complain on the price. Next up is LEGO DC Super Villains. If you guys are new to this channel, one thing that I love for the PlayStation 4 is the LEGO games. They remind me so much of my childhood, plus they're extremely fun. To get the Platinum, you basically go and you play one walkthrough of the game, then you go and play one walkthrough of the game under free mode just to get the rest of the collectibles, and then you go around the free roam worlds and get the remaining collectibles and you'll eventually get the Platinum along the way. So it's a lot of fun. Usually the LEGO games have a lot of fun for the story, and I'm always having a blast with the LEGO games. This is the most, ex most I've ever paid for a LEGO game. Normally I wait till they've been out for a few years and then once they come on sale any of the lego games i've bought in the past were only about eight dollars this one here was on sale 50 percent off for twenty dollars so regular price is 40 and for twenty dollars a game that i've been looking at for a while because it looks like a lot of fun of course i like the uh, marvel superhero games for lego they're a lot of fun so i wanted to check out dc supervillains i have yet to play it but it is something that I'm extremely excited to play very soon. But I want to play a few of my other LEGO games that I have yet to play. I've just started LEGO Avengers. So hopefully I finish up some of my other LEGO games before I play this one. Next is Fortnite Save the World. I have played Fortnite in the past. It is a free game, of course, on PS4 and other devices. But I kind of got out of the Battle Royale seen i don't play that much online games anymore but i seen fortnite save the world which is kind of like a survival based game where you're trying to find survivors you're trying to survive craft items um, and play you can have a co-op you can play with people online for your squad so but it's just part of the online uh sorry the save the world portion i don't play any of the online anymore it was literally on sale for twenty dollars so for twenty dollars I can't really complain. It's a lot of fun. It's something that I've been getting a lot of trophies on. It's something that you can get a platinum for. And I've been playing with my friend Jack. So it is something for us to play. And that's why I decided just to jump on it when it was 50% off as well. I know a lot of people are saying, why are you playing, paying for something that is free? Save the World is not free. Um, it is something that you have to pay for. It is still in beta. It was supposed to be free once they launched it. They just never have for a few years now. So... For $20, I'm having fun with it. Why not just purchase it? And the last two games are the games that I actually got for Christmas this year. Up first is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, which I've heard great things about. I've been on the ball trying to look for it for a while, and I really wanted to purchase it for a long time and play it. Because a couple months ago, I played the first three Uncharted video games. Of course, I have the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, which came with my PS4 which I never played on the PS4 until a couple months ago. I basically just blasted through those three games. Had fun. Those games are amazing. They very much hold true. The story is incredible. It has the parkour aspect and the shooting aspect that I enjoy in video games. And this story was amazing. So Uncharted 4, I believe, is also the number one selling game on the PS4. So I really wanted to try it out for a long time. Now I have it, so I plan on playing it very soon and seeing... If it holds true to the original three that I remember playing back on the PS3. 
And I also got Uncharted The Lost Legacy to complete my Uncharted collection. So I'm very excited to play both of these games. Of course, Uncharted Lost Legacy does not include Nathan Drake, but it was originally supposed to be DLC for Uncharted 4. But just like uh, Far Cry New Dawn was for Far Cry 5, it Uncharted Lost Legacy was supposed to be DLC for Uncharted 4, but it was just too large of DLC. They decided to release it as its own game. So I'm very excited to play these two games for sure to complete my Uncharted series. Now that I own all of the games, I've played the first three already on my own. I really want to play these two here and see how they are. And hopefully they are amazing games. I think they're going to be the story for the Uncharted games is phenomenal. And I absolutely love the gameplay. But all of these games were on huge discounts for the end of the year sale. And I don't think PlayStation is going to have much more on sale moving forward. At least not until spring and the spring break sales that they have. Or going into the summer, the summer sales. So this might be it for me for a while. I do plan on purchasing PlayStation Now because there is at least 30 games that are on PlayStation Now that I really want to check out. And of course, since I have PlayStation Now, once I purchase it, I'm going to start playing other games and just trying out new things. So I'm definitely excited to see when I get PlayStation Now to see what's on it and see what there is that I'm interested in playing. But I decided to hold off for PlayStation Now for at least for another couple months just because I have so much on backlog. Of course, I just purchased... A whole bunch of new games for the end of the year sale but I already had a bunch of games on the PS4 that I have yet to play so hopefully in the future I can clean up some of my backlog and then I can get PlayStation now but hope you guys enjoyed this video me talking about my recent game pickups I'm gonna leave this video here please take care peace